Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I'm going to be using Club Cola today from Wickham and it is the 1912 formula. Now I'm using the rear camera on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus I think it is. I think it's an S20 they released this year obviously for 2020 but S10 Plus. I've used it a few times it's been pretty average and I'm just checking it now to see if it's still average. Just give me a second. Now, the average thing being, it focuses in and it will adjust the light and all sorts of shit. So the picture might look all right, but it might blow my face out of colour and also it's it's really, in comparison to this iPhone camera, it's really average for videos. It takes a great photo as well, but when you zoom in on the photo, it's pretty average as well. So I'm finding the camera in the Samsung just to be pretty average. So I am looking at obviously purchasing an actual camera camera and that'll happen hopefully sometime during this year even though the PlayStation 5 comes out this year so I'm a bit stuck between a lot of sort of things at the moment so what I've done is I've soaked the soap I haven't bloomed it, I've soaked it I'm not interested in making the scent better it's just to soften that top layer really and I've been finding it's making my lathers better and easier to create now the brush for today is my Tony Forsyth see that's not even focusing very well there we go Tony Forsyth custom brush. Now this is Phantom Nebula, the colour scheme. It's absolutely stunning. It's got a 26mm black and white knot on it. It's not an actual tuxedo knot, but it's got a lot of backbone compared to the tuxedo knot. It's still soft, it's not quite as soft on the tips. And as you can see, that knot is pretty much spot on. How shit is that? Why the fuck is that still focusing away back there? That should be focused, there we go, is that focused on the knot now? I can't really see very well because obviously my camera, I mount straight on the mirror right in front of me. So I can see behind it, it's not great. It'll take a while to get the focus working, which is pretty average. The iPhone was pretty good with focusing. And yeah, so beautiful brush. Now, I'm gonna be popping a few drops of frost drops from Sterling. Now this came from artisanarcade.com.au, I think it is, or artisanarcade.com. Just check out Artisan Arcade. I'll try and pop it down below, but what I'm working at at the moment is just chucking videos on YouTube because I'm finding it hard to get to my computer and sit and actually edit them on my computer. And I've also found that the music that I'm using from PowerDirector is coming up as copyrighted, which is a pain in the arse because I'm paying money for PowerDirector, so everything within it should be usable as I paid the money for it, but it's coming up copyrighted and it's stopping me from monetizing my videos. You probably don't know what that means, but if you don't know what it means, it just means that all the ads and things that pop on my videos, I get a small percentage of that just to help the channel float and I do use that money to purchase things and pay for shipping to and from for piffs and all sorts of stuff. So, I've got my soap which I soaked. Club Cola, that's probably not even, for oh look at that, focus first time. Club Cola, now, frost drops. Great idea, works very, very well. However, I don't know whether you can see on the lid up yet. You probably can't because it's not focusing again. There we go. You can probably see just around that lid, it looks a little bit messy and gunky. This had split, Now I don't know when it's split, but I tried to shake it up this morning or 20 minutes ago before I started the video and it started oozing out everywhere and I couldn't figure out what was going on. And I noticed there was a split all the way around there. Now, that's pretty average, it's brand new, I've never really used it. I haven't tightened this down super tight, but it had split, so I've super glued that with some special plastic glue. Hopefully it doesn't get into the actual stuff and like super glue the razor to my face. But I'm gonna drop five, gro five drops, five drops. I've given it a good shake into my Wickham. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, I've never used mentholated Wickham before, so this will be the first time. Now I've also found out that Barrister and Man have released, similar to the Frost Drops, and it's called Terrorite, and it's basically the synthetic coolant that he uses in Terra, in a bottle with a pipette, pipette, I love that word, pipette, that you pull out and you can drip it in. That for me sounds much better. I don't get any reaction whatsoever from the synthetic coolant as much as I do from the mentholated, or the menthol crystals. I do get a little bit of irritation from it every now and then. Not all the time, and I find using the frost drops I can control that myself. 
I've sort of moved away from mentholated soaps and I think synthetic coolant's the way to go. Probably not great for your skin, but in terms of the actual comfort of the shave, it works better for me. And why put something on your skin that makes it irritated when you can use something that doesn't, even though it's synthetic. So I've dropped the drops on top, I've just dipped my brush, and let's get the brush slowly up. Now, to the subject of Club Cola, the reason I picked this one out today, I've just recently watched, or st actually not recently watched, I've recently went back to watching Christopher David Bailey, I Am CDB. Now, if you've, I watched pretty much every one of his videos in the beginning. Now I started traditional weight shaving in June 2016, which is four years ago this year. And started my channel up the same, very first day I started my channel was the very first traditional shave that I ever had. So if you go right back to June 2016, you'll find my first ever DE shave. And that was the day that I started it. Now prior to that, I had been watching Kebby Shaves, Paul H Films. I hadn't found Ken Surfs at the time, but the other one was I Am CDB. I think back then it was Chris, what was it called? Lather, something, oh, I can't even remember now, something Lather, I think. Right, the brush is absolutely caked. I've got the shakes big time as well. I've had a coffee this morning, which I haven't been able to have for two or three days, because we didn't have a run out of coffee. And my wife's been so busy, she hasn't managed to pick any up until yesterday. And a big thumbs up to her for picking it up, I tell you, I really, really needed a coffee. I've had a couple of horrendous nights sleep and really struggled. Oh God, the Santa Club Cola, it smells like fizzy. Cola, really. That, it smells like a cola bottle, a little fizzy cola bottle sweet that you get. Right, I'm just going to get to the sink out and then rinse my soap out now and let it start drying and airing out. This was the first artisan soap that I ever purchased. It was the first one I ever used and it will always be in my den while it is available. As you can see, there's a, a hell of a big dent in there, but it's four years old, this soap. Well, just, just over three, I suppose, three years and three months. I got it in December 2016. Right, let's just fill the sink up a little bit. So yeah, back to Christopher David Bailey and I am CDB. Now, the reason I went back to his channel was basically, he actually commented on one of my videos and he's commented on several since. He commented on a video probably two weeks ago, something like that, I think. It could be wrong, it might have been sooner than that. Now, he's never commented on any videos that I've put up and I've never commented on any of his videos because previously, if you wanted to actually chat with the bloke, you had to send him an email. He used to openly state that he didn't read comments, he didn't get back to comments, he wasn't interested, that was for the viewers, which is fair enough. But I find the comments section a lot easier to deal with than getting a million emails. Emails just, my phone would be pinging all day. Whereas with the comments, I generally, I don't do them as they come in, I just do them in a bulk hit whenever I get the time. Whereas before I used to do them every day, all the time, all day. It took up all my life, pretty much, between YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and everything else. It, it, just social media and YouTube was taking over my life. And it was taking over my family's life and, and I had to really look at the way I was doing things. Because my family comes first. So now that I've sort of looked at it and done it that way, it's made a massive difference to the I feel the cold already to the way I do things and it's not I've turned all my notifications off on my phone so if you send me a message I may not get back to you straight away go on listen to that it's raining the sun's out and it's raining it actually sounds like hailstones now I am CDB Chris over there which I quite like I thought he always preferred Chris but he goes by Chris so we'll go with Chris same as me, without, with the H, and without the H. Now, he commented on it, I've commented back a few times. Now, I don't know whether Chris has watched a few of my videos, because one of I don't see myself as a bad person, generally. I think everyone is generally, they do bad things in their life, you know. It's, I'm not a religious man, but I do have that thing in you that everyone is a bad person trying to do good things. You know, we, we all have terrible thoughts sometimes. I don't believe that everyone lives a life of good thoughts but it used to say I am CDB and you are not and I know I, I believe it was from a movie or something I'm not sure what it was but as someone that didn't actually know where it was from it, it used to annoy me and that was one of the reasons why I stopped watching his channel because it came across as that and then 
his channel did become quite political and quite quite angry. Now I watch shaving channels really for the, the good chat and the laugh and to see people review products and things and way back when I started watching IMCDB when he was something like I think it was la something ladder. That's terrible that I can't remember. But back when I used to watch him, that was why I enjoyed his channel. He used to review stuff, it was it was pretty honest with what he used. If he didn't like it, he didn't like it. If he liked it, he did. He would tell you, which I, which I really liked. And it's something I took into my channel of, of honesty with products and, and reviews. And it's partly the reason why I believe companies don't reach out to me anymore. You know, West Coast Shaving, I'm noticing they're chucking their stuff out to everyone. And I don't even get emails, messages or anything from them anymore. Now, that could be that I've left YouTube, and uh, sorry, left Facebook groups and everything like that. And I used to be reasonably active. But I think, in all honesty, it comes down to honesty. And as much as like the fine accoutrements they've just released, I love fine accoutrement soap. I think it's great. I think the so soaps and splashes are great. And I'm not searching for free stuff, so don't, before people start with that, I'm not interested in, in that sort of attitude. People send you stuff, you use it, and you give an honest review on it. I've been sent stuff before from companies. I'm given an honest review and the review has not been favourable to the company and you don't hear from them again. And they still send the stuff out to other people to get their honest reviews. Now I'm not saying those people aren't being honest with it, but let's be honest, there are people on YouTube that aren't honest with the reviews. I want people out there to buy things based on my honesty. So that when they buy it, I don't get a message saying, you told me to buy this shit and it's shit. I've never really had that. I've had people say, oh, it doesn't really work for me, but that's true. Some things work for people and they don't. And the reviewer might find something that works amazing for them, but doesn't work well for you and you get it. And that's happened for me. I've purchased stuff based on reviews on YouTube and, and online. This lather's really overloaded and my brush is going to take me a while, sorry. But I've got a lot to talk about, sort of. So IMCDB has now moved to... I am CDB, or Chris, I think it's all Chris or whatever he says. And then he goes into his video, and it just feels much more inviting to me that I want to watch his video now. Now, I've resubscribed to Chris, and I've also noticed that he's moved away from all this political angriness. He was a very angry man for a long time, and, it, and look, everyone's fighting a battle that you know nothing about, and I know that I've been there. I've been fighting battles my whole life, mentally, physically, as I am now, which then affects you mentally. And yes, it's hard sometimes to to hide that or just forget about it. And yet I do work on the pretend so what you get on the day on my channel is what you get. You know, I don't pretend to be a happy man all the time. I'm not really I'm quite a I'm quite a morbid person to be honest. I don't I'm I'm not you sort of up and go lucky type of guy. I'm not a generally happy bloke, I'm very negative. I always have been and my wife is very positive and it sort of bounces off each other and I obviously suck the life out of her and she puts her life back into me and she's always fucked and I'm always sort of on the edge and that's sort of how it works and but I've noticed that his channel has, has made a massive U-turn on how he is doing things and how he presents himself, how he presents the products and the stuff he talks about and I just wanted to give him a shout out, I am CDB, for re-evaluating his channel and, and his, his, the way he's approaching his channel because ultimately I don't really watch shaving channels these days for the products, in all honesty. I've, I've settled on what I enjoy mainly. This lather's taking ages, but I'm just going to dip the tips in and then splay the brush. So I've noticed a massive difference in this channel. I've resubscribed, I'm enjoying his content. And I used Wickham Club Cola, the super smooth formula I think it was it used recently, which is the one that super seat, this this is the, the one that was made afterwards, after he sort of took a hiatus from the shaving world, Darren from Wickham. Now the super smooth range was quite nice, but this one's far superior. I have heard he, he's been working on a super smooth formula too for a long time. I don't know whether Chris would grab that, but if you haven't checked him out, most people know who he is. In fact, in all honesty, I would imagine that quite a lot they lost quite a fair bit of viewers over that period of time. So if you watch my channel and you used to watch his channel and you stop watching him, check him out again. I think his, his latest videos, he's using a lot of stuff that he's used before. 
but just overall the channel is back where it was. It just seems to be in a happier place now. I know he went through a lot of strife and I, I, he openly spoke about it, I think, with his wife and the breakup and all that sort of stuff. So he's been through a lot uh, and I commend them for just carrying on. Facebook's a, Facebook. YouTube's a great place to vent and get shit off your chest. But I suppose for me personally, being a person that carries a lot of burdens and unintentionally carrying them to try and listen to someone else's is sometimes quite hard when they're not a close friend or a family member. It's quite hard to sort of absorb that that anger and that, that hatred and the pain that they go through as well. And you, you do naturally do it, especially when you've spent three years watching someone. So you, you get to sort of feel what they're about and, and how they are. Right, I'm just going to shave because they'll be here all day. It's really dry. It needs a lot more water, but it's a cracking ladder. I don't know how that's coming across in the video. Well, it's not because it's uh, it's not focusing, is it? Yeah, it is. It's focused now. Great ladder. Yeah, I don't know how good this camera's working. It's a pretty shit camera. So here we go. I've got the car Christopher Bradley razor out of focus. Come on, focus, you piece of shit. There we go. Aluminium with the B plate as per usual. And I've got a sixth use. This is the sixth use now. Gillette Super Stainless Despoiler Vintage Blade from America. And here we go. Now back in the day, when I first started this channel, before I started wet shaving, I used to watch all the CDB's videos. And I used to enter all these giveaways. Now of course I never I never won any. I always entered them. They always got back to you in the email. When you emailed them, they always got back to you. But I was back when I had the time to email. Now I find emailing. I don't really have the the time, it sounds silly, but you've got to go in, you've got to create the email, you've got to send it. And when you've got three kids. Two jobs. It can be very time consuming. And I just don't have that time. And that was another reason why I sort of moved away. I like to be able to comment on the video and get a reply from the person. I just find it works easier, it works better. That's what YouTube was built for. see there. Well actually no you can't. Can you see? Just how good that ladder is. It's nice and dense. It's rinsing off pretty well even though it's quite dry. So yeah as I was saying, oh, I've got a couple of little weepers already. If you used to watch it and now you don't, just head on over there, check out his new videos, his latest stuff. Probably, I mean, I would probably go back maybe 10 videos or so if you want to have a check it out. Like I say, he's, he's using mainly stuff that he's used before, I think, and he's not really using too many new things. I think I think he might have used the new West Coast shaving soap. I'm not sure. I think he might have, but I can't remember. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm losing my train of thought. That's a really slick today. I think leaving it a little bit drier is allowing it to sort of cling to my skin a little bit more. Give it that sort of oily coating that you get. This is a vegetal based soap. Oh yeah, really feel the menthol just from those five drops. Check him out again. Honestly, he's, he's back to where he was. He's, fu he's fun to watch again. His conversations are much more relevant to the shaving world. And 
there's none of that political bullshit anymore at the moment. I don't think it's really required, is it? I think there's enough politics going on. It's probably easy for me to say, because I don't really buy into politics at all. I know it affects everyone's lives every day, including my own. I'm sort of of that old school mentality of what you don't know don't hurt you sort of thing. You just got on with it. I don't see the changes that most people seem to recognise in, in the world. It has its benefits, it obviously has its downsides. I couldn't honestly tell you the last time I watched the news or read a newspaper. It would have been a very, very long time ago when I joined the police back in 2007. I stopped reading the news not long after that because I found between my job sucking the life out of me and reading the news, I was never, nothing I ever was in contact with was positive. Everything was negative. The news is so negative, it's not funny. It's, it really, it's a really volatile, horrible, horrible place to, to spend your days. Just find the less negative things you read them and are influenced by, so the better it is, really. So, if you watch this one, Chris. I think you can understand where I came from and probably where other people came from as well. You obviously realised it yourself and made the changes. So, uh, yeah, just hats off to you mate, that's all I can say. So a lot of people out there won't, won't change for anyone. And it's not really, this isn't about changing in this hobby. change for the worst and it doesn't look like you're going to change back you can scare a few people away and I was one of them but I'm back and I'm enjoying your channel I'll tell you what I had a good shave at that for a while. That, that drew, I know there's a few weepers, but that's really nice. The menthol's really added a nice little kick to this soap. Interesting to see what this video records like. I'm going to watch it back a little bit. I'm going to upload this video no matter what in its original state and get some feedback from you lot if you can just let me know what you think you lot subscribe the, the people that have come along the journey that have been here from the start I know that some of you guys have watched nearly every video or every video from the very beginning and that's freaking amazing Today. I can only put it down to the blade because the Gillette Ruby that I've been using and abraded for the last sort of five, six shaves, I think even before that, maybe the last ten shaves, I haven't really had many weakness, it just seems to shave smoother without any real issues. Oh, 
a splash of cold water. The weather has been changing a little bit over here of late. Last week or so, it has cooled down a little bit. I mean, it was 36 degrees yesterday, which, but out of the whole week, that's been pretty freakish. So hopefully we're on the, on the way towards a slightly cooler weather. Now, rinsing the brush out. I'm just going to touch on this. Someone mentioned it on our Western, West, oh, Western Australian, our Australian Facebook page, the Aussie Wet Shaving Enablement. Now, when there's soap in a synthetic brush or a natural hair brush, if it's still in there, which you can quite clearly see it's still in there now on this brush, your knot will look a bit like that. Now, I can shake that as hard as I want. There's no water coming out now. It will constantly look like that. Now, you can see quite clearly, just here, where it's really white and sort of clumped together, there's a lot of soap in there. You can see as I move it, it stays together. Warm water, because pretty much every artisan soap it's available on the market or high quality soap is full of fats, whether that be tallow, animal fats, vegetable fats, it doesn't matter, they're full of fat. Now, you'll know if you ever cook something in a frying pan, if you try and clean the frying pan with cold water, you're there all day and it doesn't work. Unless you've got high, high quality, grease killing soap, you're not going to get rid of all that fat from the pan. You have to use warm or with a pan, probably hot water. Now with a brush, you don't want to be putting boiling hot water, really hot water into your knot, base your knot, because you could possibly soften the glue where the knot, where the glue meets the fibres, whether they're synthetic or natural here. Now what I do is I run my sink, run my tap, I hold my brush this way as well, so I brush up and the water flows in here, flows actually into the base of the knot, and I use warm water, not hot water, just to really sort of look warm, just warm enough that it would just keep the soap melted and stop the, the fats from going hard. Now what that does is it allows the soap to soften up inside and then what I do is I turn it over, this isn't everyone's cup of tea, I don't really care about my sink, it's my sink, I don't use it for anything else other than shaving, it gets washed and rinsed out. I actually turn the brush over and I rub it as the water's running on it in the sink, on the actual bowl of the sink. I rub it, I splay it down like that and then rub it side to side while the water's sort of gushing around it and everything. So then what I do is I flip it back over again, a little bit more warm water, I run it in. I should really get a tripod and show you how I do this, just so people know, because my brushes always look the same. I've never had a synthetic or a natural hair brush that has ended up with a hole in it, like a, where it looks like you've got, a, you know, like a big gap like that. I see so many brushes like that, and the one that's on our Facebook group at the moment looks like that, two of them. Now, I've rinsed that out both sides. Now, what I do now is I squeeze it, the squeeze test, I squeeze it. Now, there's still a little bit of soap in there, but not much. Now, the reason I say that is when I squeeze this together, it makes a squelch or like a crunch. So if I squeeze it next to the microphone, now the brush will naturally make a little bit of noise anyway, but it'll make more noise of the soap in there. It's little bubbles. It holds it apart, so I'm just going to give it another quick rinse and then I think we'll be done. I think that's pretty much it done there. We'll give it a good shake. Generally, when most of the soap's out, you know, because just from the shake, your brush ends up pretty much uniform. You can see there, that's almost perfect. It's almost like a brand new knot, it looks. So what I do is I dry the handle now, give it a quick squeeze. Rest of the water and you can hear a little bit but that's generally just a knot you'll, you'll know when it's in there it'll sound like your crisp packet inside your brush what i do then is i get the brush and i vigorously smack it on a towel pretty much a little bit firmer with a synthetic than i do with a natural hair brush because natural hair brushes can lose fibers from the from the knot if you push too hard all i'm doing here really is getting all the moisture out of the tips of the brush that's all i'm looking for now generally once I've finished this process, just run my fingers over it that way and that way and you've got a brand new looking brush. Yep, yeah. there's nothing. Come on, piece of shit camera. This is just a dreadful camera for... But the knot, to me now looking at it, looks like it did the day it was delivered to my door, the day I unboxed it. 
So that took a bit of time, but hopefully it helps you get through cleaning your knots out right and getting rid of as much soap as you can because it can, as far as I'm aware, not only just affect the look of your knot, but it can really affect the actual knot itself in terms of its composition possibly falling apart at some point. I just think it looks nicer when your knot looks like it did. I think if you get your knot and it looks, that's better than it looks focused that. I think if you get your knot and it starts looking a bit shitty, it turns me off using the brush. Thankfully I've never had that problem, but it would stop me from using it. I would probably end up pulling the knot out and re-knotting it or just chucking in the bin. That's the sort of attitude I have to things when they start looking a bit shit. Excuse me. Now I'm going to finish off with two products. I'm going to finish off firstly with Moil Grooming Frosted Frankenline. Someone asked where to get this from in Australia. You're not going to get it in Australia at the moment, I don't think. You can send them a message, one, two, three, to Sean at Moil Grooming or Carmine over at top of the chain in Canada and just see if at this stage there, there is any, any possibility of getting it shipped to Australia. I was very lucky. I had this sent by a, via boat from Sean over at Moil Grooming way back. This was his first batch of this stuff and it's phenomenal. It is absolutely tremendous. But he's stopping making these scents and he's going to be making pretty much all collaborations. So while that settles down and, oh god, that menthol's absolutely off the chain. Wickham 1912, Club Cola, fizzy cola scent, really nice. Scent strength's pretty good, it's probably like a four, something like that. I thought the scent strength was leaving this soap, but it's actually, it's hung around, it's, it's still reasonably strong. Now I use my soaps out now for 24 hours minimum, sometimes 40 hours, it doesn't really bother me. I have had really no loss of scent on any soap that I own. Now bear in mind, this soap that I'm using today, the Club Cola, is like three years and three months old. It's an old soap, it still smells great, it still does exactly what you want. So I'm happy with that and like I say, it smells great, it smells absolutely brilliant. Right, the brush, you've seen enough of the brush, I'm not going to show you it for much longer. It's my Tony Versai Custom, TF Custom brush, another cut above with Chris. It's the first brush I ever had my channel name etched on. It's the only brush I've ever had my channel name etched on. Absolutely love this brush, it's superb. There was one other brush made, it's brother or it's sister, which was given away as my giveaway. I think it was a thousand subscriber giveaway, I can't remember. But I did that and hopefully it's still getting used. I haven't heard from the person that got it in all honesty to see whether it is still being used or whether they still watch the channel. I've got no idea. But it's out there and it's a great brush. I've never seen it on a buy sell trade or anything, so I'm assuming it's still being used. Now the soap did have five drops of frost drops from Sterling. Great product, works very, very well. Just obviously check on your lid, make sure it's not broken before you shake it and throw all your menthol drops all down the drain and all over your shirt. And the razor, absolutely superb. Look at this, this is just dreadful. The car, Christopher Bradley razor in aluminium with the B plates and a six use Gillette Super Stainless. Still very smooth and sharp, but like I say, I've got quite a few weepers today. It looks like I've got irritation on my neck, but I don't really think it's too bad. Now, I put the splash on from Moil Grooming, as I just showed you. The mint dog's still kicking in, but I am going to pop just a small amount of Club Cola Post Shave Balm. Now, this balm from Wickham is one of the best balms on the market, in my opinion at least. Gonna rinse that bit away. Now this is the problem with stuff like this when you don't use it all the time. It goes a little bit hard in the nozzle. Oh, there we go, that's better. Oh, no, you don't need heaps of this stuff. Now it looks more, it says it's a balm, but it's more of a gel. You can see it there, it looks like a little bit of gel. So let's just rub that in my hands. Oh god, that scent. The scent on the balm is considerably stronger than the soap. absorbs, I mean it's absorbed now, so it absorbs very very quickly. Now one thing with this balm is that most other ones don't, it's very moisturising, it does all the properties that you want, it really works very well, but the one thing it gives you pulse shade, a lot of stuff does it, it's almost there now, is it leaves your skin silky smooth, like it feels like there's nothing on there, it's just beautiful. Oh what a shave.
God, so I'm really over the moon with that. I've had some shocking night's sleep. I've been really tired. My legs still really aching. I'm still on some painkillers. I'm not on the strong ones anymore, just normal ones, trying to get back to normal, trying to build up. I've got a few photographs of before and, well, not a few before, I've got one before, I've got a few in-betweens and then I'll have a couple of afters whenever it's done. But it's, it's not a pleasant experience getting your veins stripped, I have to be honest. My legs pretty much black and blue at the moment and multicoloured from all the bruising where they pulled the veins out. I'm having a, not issues, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling almost where the veins being stripped but there's no blood going there and it's obviously your body finds a way it gets the blood to it via different veins and I don't know if it creates more veins, I'm not sure how it works. The body's a very complex and amazing thing so it's just trying to get the blood flow back to places where it's been restricted now because there's no blood flow getting to it at all. So it's taking its time, you do feel that and it affects you in other parts as well, unfortunately, but I'm getting there, it's slowly getting better. And with that being said, this video is super long, I've got no idea how long it is, it's going to be 30 plus minutes, easy. But I have had a fantastic shave that I've really enjoyed, I've got some shit off my chest, I've uh, spoke about CDB, if you watch this mate, I am back, I'm watching the channel, I'm enjoying it again, and for those of you that stopped enjoying it and haven't been back yet, check him out, I think he's made a big difference to this channel, I think he's back where he used to be and the enjoyment factor's back with them, so well done mate, I'm, I'm happy you're back, I'm happy to be watching you again, and other than that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time, cheers.